Okay, I'm gonna show you how I got a seamless mod to work with Graceborn. I'm using Graceborn 1.12.4, I believe, the most updated version of it, and also the latest update of Seamless uh, Co-op. Um, once you download this from Access Mod and extract it in a folder, so you know where everything is, or any folder, it doesn't matter. Um, if you go to files and you pre -file, uh, preview file contents, this is how you know if you got everything right. Just take a glance of it so you can tell. But once you, you know, extract it and put it somewhere, you will have a seamless co-op folder. Once you click on it, you should see a crash pod, local, and all that stuff. Um, like I said, you can just recheck to make sure you have everything. So by clicking everything, you know, this is just to make sure nothing mess up on that part alone. Um, after this, what you want to do is you want to just go back to where it says seamless this co-op folder and just copy. Now, the next step you want to do is find your game files. To do this, usually if you have it on Steam, you go to Steam, right click on Elder Ring, Manage, and then click on Browse Local Files. Once you do this, there should be a game folder. Inside this game folder is your game files. And here is where you would copy you, the file you copy of Seamless Co-op. You will paste it here. And this should be where the folders are. Click inside this folder, inside your game file that you just put in. And what you want to do is highlight or either copy, but usually what I do is just drag the ERSC underscore launcher into my game by just holding it and then drag it into my game. Now, if I click on my game folder, um, it will be right here. Okay. Now we're going to go back into Seamus Co-op. And then we're going to click on the ERSC uh, underscore settings, I and I. We're going to click that and there's a notepad that will pop up with all this lovely information that you can change up, I believe. But we're not going to be focusing on that. We're going to be focusing where it says password session password co-op password equals. And here is the password you will put along with your friends. Everybody has the same password that you're going to play with or you guys won't be able to find each other. This is how we find each other. It's literally just like, you know, uh, find each other in the regular Elden Ring game when playing multiplayer. So you just put in a password. Mine is chic. So yes, if you uh, have the same password as me, you might run into and join my world if I have it open. Then after this, you're going to save it and exit out. Next thing you want to do is highlight these three files. So the only thing that's going to be left here is the crash pad. I usually don't move that. I'm not sure if you're supposed to. I just leave it in there. And then what we're going to do with these three files, we're going to copy it. Once we copy it, now we want to locate where our mod engine is for the Graceborn. So for me, I had to find that I believe it's here. So you're going to find your, where you download the Graceborn and all that stuff, the mod engine too, blah, blah, blah. You're going to click on mod engine too. And you should see something like this. You want to paste what you just copied here. So now you should have a local file folder and the two files that you copied. The next thing you want to do is look inside your config Elden Ring, uh, T-O-M-L. I don't know what this looked like originally, but this is the only thing you want to focus on. Oops, what I highlighted. I will have this in my description or in the comments and you can just copy and paste. The, re the main thing that we mainly want to focus on ex besides how it's written, obviously like, like with the commas and quotation marks and the parentheses at the end. We just want to make sure we add this in here. Uh, that's for co-op. As you can see, it's the same name, like right here. That's the, that's the co-op mod. After you've done this, you save it and you exit it out. Now seamless use a different type of, uh, saves. So you will not be playing your original saves or your Graceborn mod saves. There's a way you can uh, convert it. 
I'm not going to be talking about that. It's, you could probably find that somewhere else or ask in the comments and I'll probably just answer it there. But I'm just trying to make this a little bit shorter and straight to the point. We're going to go to my our save files. So we're going to go to local C drives. And then we're going to go to users. Whatever your username, you're going to click on it. Then you're going to go to app data. Roaming. And then find Elden Ring. Everything I just highlighted, please ignore because this is my personal save files and backup saves. What we're going to be looking in is the folder that has a lot of numbers in it. This is usually your Steam ID, I believe. What we're going to do is just click inside and you should see your last Graceborn saves. Um, this will not be overwrite, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you're like me, you like to back up things. And like I said, this is all my backup save files. I have it for every situation and whatever. But basically what we want to do is um, have Seamless create a new save file that works for them. The easy way to explain this, regular other mods and regular game use .sl2 at the end. Seamless use .co2. So nothing overwrites and that's how you know the difference between a seamless uh, save file and a regular or modded save files. Seamless is the only one that used that file, I believe. So the next thing you want to do is pretty much go back to your uh, game files. Like I said, go into Steam, find the Elder Ring, and browse local files. Go inside your game folder. And now we want to launch Seamless Mod by itself with no Graceborn. This is how we registered the game in. And, uh... I can pretty much tell you how you know for a fact it did it. If you don't do this step particularly, um, it will give you like a save data issue. But on the top right where my mouse is, it will say something like creating save data, checking save data. And that's how you know it, it created one. As you see, creating and then save. Does it pretty quick. This is how you know you got the mod right if this pops up. This is just talking about the mod and it literally tells you that it uses a, a separate save. It does not connect to the matching matchmaking servers. And that's pretty much it. The reasons why we do that, as you can see, if we go back to our save files, you see how I only had these three before we opened that? Now I have these extra two. These are the seamless and as you can see, there, there's a difference. Uh, the ending of it is CO2 instead of this one is dot SL2. That's how you know the difference. Okay. Now from here, you can pretty much start up the game. Uh, obviously, the way you start up the game is going through your mod engine um, for a grace board and then launch. like I said, you can use your original save files. You can even use your Graceborn save files that you've already been playing. That's already like leveled up and all that stuff. And you could use it on Seamless, but that's just another video. You can find it somewhere else or I'll maybe type it in the comments doesn't, or wherever you are. But um, we're just not going to be focusing on that. It's pretty easy to do also. But usually when this is your first time using Seamless, you pretty much start from scratch. Um, for everything else inside a game, how to join people and all that stuff, you're just gonna have to figure that out. Hopefully that helps. And yeah, as you can see, everything works. You just have to start over if you don't, you know, do the other extra stuff to get your old save files. And uh, yeah.